Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, not the best weather condition, uh, I hope, but it is going to be a pretty good day ahead because we are heading to uh, a pretty cool event that is happening at Fullerton. It's called the Concourse de la Gance. Um, it's supposedly the commemorative car meet, um, so-called gathering, where Fullerton turns 90 this weekend. So, let's go take a look. another car leaving so there's still a few more cars here and of course there are more classy cars um, that are around the area so um, I guess it's time for us to explore so we are right at the Fullerton Bay Hotel and this is what's left of the Ferrari here so let me just bring you around down of what is here there is a it's a 430 spider in grey it's pretty nice uh, and a couple of uh, 458s and a oh okay I think we shall just head over there I think I see one pretty special goodie just behind over there. Yeah, 458, F430. Let me just go behind there. And this is the special one that we are talking about. Literally called a special one. Speciali Aperta in Rosso Corsa. Who, who has a daughter? Are you, are you trying to date a daughter? <laughs> the daughter is inside. No. no. So, yeah, the Speciali Aperta, one of. I think three or four in Singapore. Very cool, very cool. It's a rather cheeky Ferrari behind me. It's a Ferrari 575 Maranello. I believe there's only there's only two or three in Singapore. One of them is in this and the other two I believe is in red in color. It's just so rare to see one of these cars on the road today, given that there are so many um, cars like 458s and F430s. So seeing Ferraris of this um, generation it's pretty rare. I, I, I'm, I'm only wishing there was a 550 Marinello somewhere, but this will do, people. And then down in front here, there's this F12. I'm not exactly sure what is the color of this, but I'm not sure if it's a paint as well, or it's a red, but I think it's champagne gold. Oh, it looks beautiful in person. Absolutely beautiful. I don't think I've, any, I've seen anything quite like this. Not in person, I've seen it in pictures. Two number plates winning. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any form of arrests from the TP. And of course, down the line here, classic, or oh, should I say, modern Ferrari 488 GTB in Rosa Posa. Yeah, I guess that's what's left of the Ferrari. So let's make our way to the main stage. Some classic cars at the back there. I believe a Dino, a Ferrari Dino, all the way at the back there. So, um, if you have the Gold Pass, at least for next year, you are able to access this area. But if you are a member of the public, you don't wish to buy the pass, you actually stand where I'm standing right now, and you can actually view the cars at a decent angle here. He's looking at pretty up close to the cars, somewhat. Oh, e type conveniently. But yeah, he's as good as he gets as a public member. Okay, so I'm actually finding myself walking aimlessly everywhere around this place because of the sheer amount of cars um, at the display and also the amount of cars that are coming in and out of me. Uh, and, and just overall atmosphere actually. So we're gonna go at the back where Ferraris are. I think there's a test tower or something behind there. So that is where we are going. Let's go through the lineup here just a bit. We have the Ferrari Testarossa, 
We have the 250SL in pristine, absolute pristine condition. And we have a Ferrari over here. Uh, I'm not too good in my classic, but it is what it is, a Ferrari uh, in, in, in apple green, I would say. Pretty cool. Yep, just to see all these cars here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now, apparently, this meet isn't just about cars. There are also apparently yachts over there, a couple of yachts. Obviously, a little out of my league, but yeah, they're there. We have somehow landed ourselves at the back of the Fullerton Hotel where apparently a couple of Ferraris on display. Right over there is the Portofino. I'm in love with the Lusso. Uh, it's basically the replacement of the FF if you haven't already know. Um, it is actually one of the most practical Ferraris you can ever have today and it is a swan song from the, from the get-go from that exhaust over there because it's a V12. You know, what more do you want out of a Ferrari, right? It is just the all-round package. Beautiful. If you just walk slightly further into uh, the other side where the Portofino is. Um, now if you have watched uh, or followed our Instagram, you would have known that we did a showcase with Ferrari Singapore with the Portofino. So this is the second Portofino that they brought in and as you can see, I hope the camera is doing some justice here. It is actually a triple layered red. Uh, personally, it just looks freaking amazing. Uh, it is not Rosso Corsa. Let me just see if the polarizer is working here. There you go. So it is, it is a very, very deep red, candy looking red. It's not Rosso Foco, I think. But yeah, I've, I, I thought the white was gorgeous, but wow, this is, I think, even more beautiful. Yeah, apparently, there's a queue that is forming up with the Portofino, where apparently, I think um, Ferrari has allowed some people to actually stay in the car. Pretty cool. I hope you guys are happy. I hope you guys will be happy. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is the McLaren 675 LT MSO. Look at the paintwork. The rims. Look at the rims. It's bright orange I'm not sure if the camera is getting this but wow it is absolutely brilliant coming around here if you could actually see the stitching it is also in ah, focus focus it is in the Gulf blue and orange MSO you freaking well done let me just tell you a few things about okay I think some guys just schooling some people for touching the car but yeah, let me just tell you some special stuff about this car. Um, number one, it belongs to the Johor royalty. So it belongs to the Sultan of Johor. And number two, this doesn't fall within the 500 car production limit um, that all LTs have. So this is actually a pre-production car uh, where um, the car was actually made for, uh, was actually produced for the press to actually test out the car first. So he liked the car so much apparently and uh, they told MSO to actually rebuild the entire car so it was initially white in color underneath the paintwork so it is actually now repainted in the golf theme based on a Davidoff long tail McLaren and this is the end result today pretty pretty magical I would say just spotted another goodie I believe it's the first 812, 812 super fast in Singapore in Rosso Cosa, classic Rosso Cosa as always with Ferraris. So we've actually come inside the grand ballroom area here, I would say, of Fullerton Bay. So there's the Puffer Mine over here, there's the Urus. Um, it's wise to know that these cars actually are the showroom cars. So if you actually pass by Lanky Road, you actually see this um, in the showrooms. Over there are where the Sultan of Johor's cars are. Uh, it's the Mira and the initial prototype car of Lamborghini, which is a truck where they originally started from. Amazing, I never knew they had that car. at the Fullerton Hotel. The 
it was behind me. Now, I'm quite surprised that this car is actually out on display today, but I wouldn't expect it to be on any other events than the concourse because let's face it, there isn't any other prestigious event as prestigious as the concourse uh, where the Vantage will actually be fitting to be displayed at. So yeah, a pretty good surprise and it's, it's a beautiful car, that's all I can say. Astens have always nailed the designs and this is no exception. Now what we have here guys is the Bentley Mulzan extended wheelbase. Bear with me here. Now if you thought that the original Mazen was actually big enough, <laughs> well you are absolutely wrong. Well, Bentley thinks you're wrong because just look at the door here, just from the sheer size of the window you're able to see the extensive extentness, you could ever say that, of the uh, extended wheelbase. So you basically get a lot more legroom according to Bentley is an additional 10 inch from the regular uh, Mazen. So just adds that little bit of comfort um, to the passengers. This car is actually green. I'm not sure whether this is actually green in color because the, the ceiling itself is green. So it makes that like as if it's in a British recent. Let's see if the camera will focus. So as I was saying, I'm not sure whether because of the light it looks green, but it certainly does look like British racing green. I like this feel over here. Absolutely nice. And Let's not forget the grill. This brand new touch to the Bentley line, the, the you know the 11 grills, I would say. Um, the light still is similar. Um, I could do with a change of lights because I'm not really a fan of these lights. But yeah, it's an overall package. Yeah. If you ever felt that a normal Malzen isn't good enough for you, well, the answer is right here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my lord, guys. Oh my lord guys is that we we all know that the Chiron is gonna be here but we are we, we've all assumed that is that blue Chiron that is like the Lego display that will be coming out but no they actually took the the one that is from Geneva Motor Show that was um, somewhere around the first quarter of this year and, and basically brought it to Singapore with the uh, CEO Stefan Winkleman and this is the product Wow this is the Chiron has gotten quite a number of attention because, well, it is a Bugatti. We've literally come out from the Fullerton Hotel <laughs> and this is what we agreed it with. An M6 V10 Coupe! In its rainbow-ish pedal pop color. I thought this color was so 2015, but... Okay, I, I guess it's not to everyone's taste. But... Yeah. It still catches the attention of some people, clearly. It's about, I think, 6 o'clock right now. Sudden change of events. I've managed to get myself a pass to enter to that area over there. So I guess thanks to Mr. Zen Lee, Zen notable mention, uh, for giving me the ticket. So I'm now going to go inside the tentage area where all the classic cars are being displayed and show you guys around. There are actually two other Rolls Royces that are in the basement, um, which are the Silver Seraph and the Silver Wraith. Uh, I can't get there at the moment, but yeah, if you do have the time to pop by Fullerton, if you actually go to the basement, you'll actually see those two cars there. So I hope you've enjoyed the contents of the video so far. Be sure to give a thumbs up to this video if you enjoyed the content. Any comments below, just leave it down. Constructive. Try not to be bad, but constructive. Um, and we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh,